Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to this premium review on the P51D10, a plane that I've had in my hangar for quite a while and I have sporadically flown out. I am familiar of course with uh, the P51s in general. You've seen reviews of me pass by on the D30, the D5, the D20 and uh, we've looked at them a lot. They are great fighters at altitude, boom and zoomers very fast planes they they have a high top speed on all altitudes the plane can be agile on higher altitudes as well on high speed and uh, it's a good turner as well when it's fast it does become sluggish though when you lose your speed and you get a little bit lower here and then you you lose your speed and then you are basically uh, in trouble. Low and slow is not a good thing in this plane as in many planes, but uh, these planes is difficult to get out. The roll rate is not fantastic compared to a lot of the other planes you face. So the defensive flying is always a little bit tricky. Uh, that's why in this plane your best defense is keeping your speed up high. and. Uh, I would say always keep it between 400 and 500 kilometers an hour if you can and when you do that you're relatively safe from spitfires and all that jazz especially if you can get to altitude now getting to altitude might be a little bit of a problem as the climb rate is average it doesn't have spectacular climb rate thus it needs a bit of side climbing to get to the altitude it needs to excel and excel in this plane you definitely can it is very very good once you do get the altitude so that little bit of patience while you uh, are side climbing is definitely recommended now the plane holds uh, is equipped with 50 cals of course and uh, they hold quite a nice ammo load so with ammo you you are good but you of course the 50 cals the damage it's a little bit tricky at the moment you definitely want to look at a convergence of 600 meters at the maximum and anything between 3 and 600 meters can work for you depending on what your playstyle is when you like to start firing on a plane and stuff like that I personally have 600 and I'll keep it at 600 because I'm so used to that and it really fits the, the moment that I like to fire at. That's almost second nature, so I, I don't want to change that too much when needed. But um, beyond 500 meters, the damage already starts to lessen a bit. So uh, yeah, 600 is really the max with the 50 cals. But when you get up close with the 50 cals and you get them on target with a sustained burst, you can definitely do your damage with the 50 cals, that's no problem. So we get this Doe 217 here in this first match that I'm showing you and uh, was also the last kill of that match with three kills, third place and we were about to land. Now here we go into a little dive, the acceleration in a dive is quite nice. The Yak 3 is coming up here we're fighting Russians in this match and here we get a, a, a nice burst on target in which we get him on fire first and then we destroy the target as well immediately after several options here is there's enemies all around us now you see the, it, the, the plane is turning quite nicely with a 400 kilometer of speed the slower you get the more like a brick it will feel in turning contest and of course the trick is always when you do when you are fast and when you do turn you will lose speed in the turn and after that the next turn you will be less maneuverable and so on so if you do make the decision to exchange your speed for a turn I mean you better make damn sure that you only need that one turn because if you end up in a turn fight after two or three turns you lose your um, advantage of the turning capability at higher speeds and uh, you are a sitting duck so don't uh, give it away easily without consideration 
get our second guy there, an I-185. There are several people here below the cloud still as well. They were after some of our allies in this area. And they won that fight. And we are trying to catch them. They were both climbing and I was hoping they didn't see me so they would pop up through the uh, through the clouds here. But they don't and I decide that I don't want to dive through the clouds right now as they are with two and uh, that might end up as, uh, an awkward situation as you come through the clouds and they are not exactly where you expect them to be. <coughs> now the LA-7 there is spotted by my Spitfire ally. And the other guy is probably somewhere in that neighborhood as well. There's also still an, an enemy above us. But that's problematic. He decides to roll out of my way. And we are going to extend here because we've got an enemy above us. Now our cruising speed is really high. We're holding 700 kilometers. But that Yak-3 can dive. And if he doesn't do anything crazy he can managed to get a, a pretty good dive speed and he is indeed gaining on us right now as we are also still pretty close to that LA-7 and I don't want to get uh, mixed up in a turn fight with this with this yuck and then the LA-7 <laughs> coming to help him out that wouldn't be very good so we're going to extend we're going to extend until we're way over the water and we are already indeed extending and see sometimes they just turn off and they turn away so th then you can take the advantage which I want to do right here I'm holding a lot of speed trying to get him in a head on here of course the clouds are in the way I can't exactly see the way he's going we do get a hit in though and that is sometimes what you do get with the uh, 50 cals just a hit here where you might expect uh, a kill with a uh, with a cannon but uh, we don't have any cannon so we, we've got to be patient patience in the p51s is key and that is also the reason why a lot of people don't do well in them now we are going to go for a straight dive here picking up 150 kilometers an hour in no time and we are extending away again from the yak who was from his loop um, and his dive he had more energy for a sec there but you put this plane in a dive and it picks up speed very nicely and uh, picks up its speed and you can extend away from uh, your opponent now we're gonna web here as he comes back up he will lose speed again and we will start extending again as the climb rate and the energy retention in a climb isn't that good the more uh, vertical you go you, you start to bleed speed very rapidly in a shell you want to keep this plane in shallow angles as much as you can holding enough speed turning around still 300 kilometers in these situations you always got to be You've got to really try to estimate the uh, where the plane is going, the enemy, and if you can turn around horizontally. If you then can, I personally always, well not always, but often turn around or, uh, in the vertical so that I catch uh, a little bit of altitude. And with that altitude I can do things again with my energy. That's why I usually don't turn in the horizontal. Unless it's for a tactical reason, of course. Now, the Yak-3, let's see what he's gonna do. We are in the advantage now. We are higher in energy. We come from above. And he's in trouble now. But we still gotta be careful. The Yak-3 is a very, very... And that's a 3P. Very good plane. But uh, he gives us an easy shot there. And uh, no evasive maneuvers. So that was good. Now we didn't go for a landing. I still had uh, about 15 minutes of fuel. So I thought that, that would get me through most of the match. And we still held a thousand MG rounds. We meet this guy up high. And uh, he seemed to be uh, only doing some maneuvers there at the end. Maybe 
He was AFK climbing or eating something. And he saw me too late, possible. When you uh, are climbing and you hold the camera in a in a high angle. Now these two guys, these these temple guys, were uh, still alive, both of them from from the early game. And uh, this guy kept me busy on high altitude for a long time, pulling me this way, then that way, going back to his airfield. Then he turned around, then I turned around, following him again. And uh, I didn't have that much time anymore on the fuel. Five minutes of fuel and I decided to go back. He did frustrate me though and I got a little bit impatient. Of which the result we see here. I hold all the advantage here and I go head on with this guy. And I get punished for my stupidity. After a very good match with still three planes in the air. Man, I've, I could have gotten eight... Uh, I could have gotten seven kills then in that match. If I would have played it out. And I would have gotten good situations on those. But I would have had to go back to the airfield as well so anyway we jump into the uh, a b matches after uh, those two rb matches very nice matches very good plane of course if you operate it patiently and to its strength you can do a lot of good in the p51 but like i said it's, it's not a plane for all people it's a it's a plane that uh, takes a lot of patience and it takes uh, your discipline you need to use it to the strength it has and uh, that of course that's a general rule but uh, this plane is not very forgiving if you don't use it to its strength Now jumping back into AB, I hadn't flown AB for a while and uh, I noticed that AB indeed is a skill you've got to, uh, you've got to feed, you've got to nourish. So I, I will go into AB a little bit more often again. But still I, I had some nice matches, I had some 4 zeros, uh, clean matches but short matches. You know every time I jump back and maybe just something bad luck uh, for me. But um, Every time I jump back into AB I have these, these short matches where everybody goes for the ground targets and uh, 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes is a regular occurrence which I don't really enjoy uh, the matches where you get 2 kills, 3 kills, 4 kills and it's over. It doesn't really uh, give you a nice uh, showcase of what the plane can do. But um, well. This was the longest match that I had and uh, I got 6 kills in the thing before um, I got sh uh, to an unfortunate death. But we, as you see, we are working from around 4, 4.5 thousand meters here. And uh, we are trying to get the climbers out of the sky so that we can basically uh, work the area uh, to our leisure. That's what we want to do. This guy was in my way though, and uh, he damaged my engine here a little bit. Though in arcade that is not an immediate problem. Didn't find the right lead there. And with the 50 cals, it is a little bit of a problem to get him. Because you get a lot of uh, hits in the situation where you are right behind the enemy and uh, he is maneuvering and like if you're like me and you haven't practiced uh, AB for a while then uh, it's still faster than RB in that sense but we in the end we did get him in a head-on and uh, we are still relatively clean the engine of course is damaged and will eventually explode but um, that's eventually and most of the time before that time comes the match is already over so <laughs> that is no problem at all but uh, I like the P51s I really do I, I like its patient style especially in RB I, I, I love it when you're just uh, side climbing and after that you can work the plane to the strings and uh, have a nice game where you often by the way yeah there we go stayed way too long on that head on stupid but uh, yeah it happens and this uh, little clip is a showcase of why I don't play AB at the moment and I got this I played I played four matches two of the matches were like this one match I got shut down by a uh, 
100 player who I met who was in a BF 109 and I didn't get to a higher altitude than him and then for maneuverability wise once you start to maneuver with a BF 109 you're in trouble and the 100 pilots are of course good pilots but uh, these are the matches that I, I would love to avoid and why I got pushed into playing RB more and more not only because I enjoy RB I mean I still if I get an old-fashioned match in AB, I enjoy that just as much as an RB match. But these matches are, for me, are the bane of uh, AB right now. I got one kill in the bag. I'm trying to get a second kill here. Going after the P8 because you know the bombers, they are terrible in AB matches. They are so devastating, especially when they are working in large numbers. In this match though, a large number of the fighters also went uh, hunting for, as you see, a lot of uh, attackers, but also uh, a, a, a P-38, who should be at a higher altitude. Everybody is hunting for ground targets. And if this is, I was going for the right engine there, didn't get, uh, didn't get it though, got an assist on that guy. And we are on approach to the Yak-9 here. And this is so three approaches on three planes. And look at the tickets. They're going down very, very fast. And this match is already almost over, unfortunately. And a lovely plane. Looks good here in the sunshine between the clouds. Very aesthetically pleasing. I always love the Mustangs and their shape. Although they could have done something with the belly, but I guess the supercharger belongs there. But a fantastic plane, and here is the end of the match. Two kills, one assist. Waste of my time. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now all in all this plane is fantastic and I would recommend you to get this plane if you like the, the P-51Ds. I mean if you don't have the patience, if you don't have the discipline, then this is not the plane for you and you should definitely not buy it. There is two regular P-51s in the tree, the D5 and the D30 and uh, just focus on those. But if you like the diversity and uh, if you like to have some different flavors of P-51s then I would definitely recommend you getting the P-51 D10. It is not on sale regularly anymore though. You have to get this plane when they offer it or when they have a contest or a Facebook um, thing. You know, they, they, they have these prizes and sometimes they give out premium planes. And sometimes I might do a special sale for this plane. So if you want it then you should get it. It's a great plane. It's a great boom and zoomer, it, it's very fast, it is agile at high speeds, it can turn for a little bit but after that you need to extend again and get your speed up. Keep your speed up, the 50 cals will do the job if you get close enough and uh, yeah like I said wonderful plane to fly, Very, very. In, but it needs discipline and um, if you have that then this is a good plane to buy. Uh, if you don't want to wait for a special sale, you can look at the P51 D20. I also have a review up on that one. It's quite similar and it is on regular sale. So you can also go for that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video. Do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.